I am Anil Kumar and let us see how to solve rational inequality. We are given the question as solve the inequality 5 over x plus 3 plus 3 over x minus 1 less than 0. So let's take common denominator. So we get x plus 3 times x minus 1 cross multiply 5 times x minus 1 plus 3 times x plus 3 and that should be less than 0. So let's expand and simplify the numerator which is 5x minus 5 plus 3x plus 9 over you should not expand the denominator right we need ultimately all these terms in factored form. So combining the terms in the numerator we get 8x minus 5 plus 9 is plus 4 divided by x plus 3 times x minus 1 which is less than 0 and now we can take 4 commons we get 2x plus 1 in the numerator x plus 3 times x minus 1 in the denominator less than 0 now we can make table of values and then analyze each interval so the method being adopted is by checking each interval so let me draw some lines to help us out we have three factors to work with correct and uh, I think that should work right and we have three factors that means that will give us three zeros one of them will be in the numerator and two of them will be in the denominator right okay so the zeros for us are let us write down the zeros first when I say zeros or you can say vertical asymptotes zeros of numerator and denominator that could be how you could see it so we could have zero at so what are the zeros let's write zeros here of the numerator it is minus half and of the denominator minus 3 and plus 1 so we should write them in order minus 3 so let me write minus 3 here and then we have minus half and plus 1 now these zeros divide in the intervals and let me write down intervals as in this case one interval is from minus infinity to minus 3 then we have minus 3 to minus half minus half to 1 and then from 1 to infinity in each interval we should take test points correct so let us take test points now so these t dot p is test points for me minus 4 between then minus 1 will be good 0 and 2 we're trying to analyze these four factors so let us write them down one by one the first factor is include constant also 2x plus 1 the second one is x plus 3 and then we have x minus 1 and then this all let us call it a function right so we'll analyze the function by multiplying the factors and then see whether they are positive or negative so the first one if I substitute let us say minus 4 here then this becomes negative minus 1 it becomes negative 0 will make it positive 2 will make it positive okay if I substitute in this expression minus 4 it is going to be negative minus 1 will result in positive so these values will result positive minus 4 negative minus 1 negative we are substituting for x minus half I mean 0 in this case will give us negative and then 2 will give us positive now 3 negatives means a negative 2 negatives means a positive 1 negative means negative 3 negatives means positive we are looking for less than 0 which means these are our solutions correct and now we can write down the solutions which is between minus infinity to minus 3 and from minus half to 1 right so we get our answer that this inequality is true in the domain minus infinity to minus 3 union minus half to 1 so that is how you should be solving inequalities i hope the steps help you to understand the question thank you and all the best